Well, hello there. This is Matt Swartz, and welcome to another episode. Uh, I'm actually here in Denver, Colorado, at Denver International Airport. Uh, excited today to be connecting up with my uh, mentor and close friend, Terry Jarvis. Um, of course, I've got the uh, telltale uh, dangling mask uh, that is a part of air travel right now. Uh, just finished having a little breakfast sandwich and some great caribou coffee. Uh, caribou is amazing. I don't know if you've ever had it, but uh, it's for regular just good drip coffee. They got it going on. But I want to talk a little bit this week. Uh, my reason for being here today is, is truly simply to connect up with my mentor. Um, I've been mentoring young men for years, and one of the biggest things I talk about is their need to have somebody in their life that's pouring into them. I, I really do think we need three relationships, uh, people that we invest into, people that we connect with on a peer level, similar life circumstance, a similar life season, but also those that are investing in us. Um, I think for most men, definitely my age, as somebody who's early 50s, the, the finding people to pour into us has probably been one of the most difficult challenges uh, and even as I really talk with young men about trying to push the idea of like, hey, rate that maybe I'm investing in your life, but you need to own having a mentor in your life. That's something that you need to be purposely pursuing. Matter of fact, one of my statements really is you need to pursue a mentor till they catch you. Um, it's this idea that uh, for most of us, one of the biggest challenges that we struggle with in our life um, is having somebody that is uh, in a different season of life, different life experience, having their perspective speak into stuff in our lives. That's huge. I would, I would even say this, that it's not necessarily true that a mentor is always older than us. Uh, matter of fact, sometimes mentoring, it may be somebody that's the same age, it may be somebody that's younger, but we are leaning into somebody to provide uh, investment into our life in an area where we want to see growth. And so even for me, even though the guy I'm meeting with today, Terry, is older than me, um, it's, it's his life experience, it's, it's his wisdom that I'm leaning into. And so I want to throw two thoughts at you uh, about mentoring. I've already mentioned one of it is that it would be wonderful especially as a man if somebody just like dropped into my lap that was purposely going to mentor me the reality in life is that we have to pursue it we have to be the initiators and so if you want mentoring in your life i, I wish it would just be that it mysteriously just drops in your lap and you're going to have to be purposeful and pursue it but that leads to the second principle um it may look different than always just being in person I, in person is best uh, but the reality uh, Terry lives in, in Denver and he's been speaking into my life for probably 15 years now if, if I weren't time um, we can do some of it via technology but uh, I'm gonna have to fly up to Denver you know, on my dime to he's, he's being generous at this time but I'm gonna have to fly up here to spend a day with him um, I'm not talking that mentoring happens weekly or monthly, it's just it's about intentionality, which, which may mean sometimes mentoring is going to come from books, it's going to come from podcasts, it's going to come from seminars. We may need to identify people that have wisdom or a skill set that we want and then leverage every resource that we can that they have available to get mentoring that way. Here's the principle. Mentoring requires intentionality but it's payback in our life is, is exponential. Um, talk about maybe some great mentors in your life in the comments down below, or maybe some of the best books or tools that have provided mentoring for you. Uh, like this video, subscribe, and uh, look forward to connecting with you next week.